So it's Monday morning and it's weigh-in time and I know yesterday I was like pumped up for weigh-in but now I'm like super nervous. Like I'm dreading it because I'm like what if I worked out for 21 hours, okay almost a full day and only lost a few pounds. Like I, my goal is five, I really hope I lost at least five pounds. If I didn't, I'm going to be pretty upset. Um, so yeah, here I go. So I lost a pound and a half. Not really sure what's up with that. Um, so weigh-in didn't go as well as I expected it to. Um, I don't know, maybe someone may have some tips for me. I worked out for 21 hours this week and only ate 1,400 calories a day. And my total weight loss was 1.5 pounds. Um, I have to say I'm pretty disappointed in that, but I'm not going to give up. I know sometimes this happens, maybe I'm getting muscle, maybe it's water. I don't know, maybe I'm just a freak of nature. But I'm going to keep working out, and I'm going to keep eating right, and hopefully next week I'll have better results. Um, cutting back to two hours a day. I was hoping last week that it would jumpstart my weight loss, but apparently it didn't work. Um, but anyways, this is what I'm having for breakfast. I'm going to have my scrambled eggs with lots of vegetables. I have onions, hot peppers, tomatoes, um, mushrooms, and then I have a little bit of red pepper. I have one piece of toast, which is 80 calories, and then I'm going to have two eggs. And I'll probably, I don't know what I'll cook it in, maybe a little bit of butter. So I think that's only 35 calories, but yeah. So I'm here at the gym, day eight, even though I really don't want to be here because I feel like it's pretty much worthless at this point. Um, I guess I'll do two hours, but at this point I'm thinking maybe I should just accept that I'm going to be fat for the rest of my life and just get used to it because who works out for 21 hours a week to lose a pound and a half? Someone please tell me that. Someone. A pound and a half? Really? That's all I could accomplish? A pound and a half for three hours a day? I don't know. But to me, that doesn't seem normal. I'm not going to give up, but I just really feel like something is wrong here. Something's wrong with this picture because I worked my ass off and my ass did not come off. Hey, it's me. And I just got done with an hour of cardio. I did my usual bike and elliptical, but I amped it up more than even yesterday, um, partly because I'm so upset about this morning's weigh-in, and I had to get some of the aggression out, so yeah, that was a scary side of me, but anyways, I have a better perspective now, and I'm just going to continue with my plan and see what happens, I mean, I'm a pound lighter than I was before, so that's always fun. Um, hopefully I'll see better results this So just got done with my two hour workout 
and I'm only doing two hours this week because it's week two. Um, and after working out, I got to thinking a lot. And this morning I weighed myself and I only lost a pound and a half. But the other part of it is we also took measurements. Now, according to my measurements that I took last week, I measured myself again this morning and according to that, I've lost 16 inches off my body. Literally, it said that I lost seven inches off each of my thighs seven inches off my thighs people now upon seeing these results and also seeing that i only lost a pound and a half i just immediately assumed that it had to be wrong like it has to be wrong you know there's no way i must have measured wrong in the first week but then after working out and thinking about it i'm thinking about how things are fitting i'm thinking about how I'm looking and also if I'm building so much muscle then maybe this is true maybe I did lose 16 inches in one week so when I get home I'm gonna try on a pair of shorts that were tight on me before and if I indeed did lose seven inches per thigh then they should be loose now so that's gonna be my test back from the gym and I had to try on some shorts because I've been wearing shorts lately so I know how they used to fit me um, and according to the inches and the measurements and stuff I've lost seven inches from each thigh so I thought if I try on some shorts and they fit a lot looser then I'll know that that's accurate and wouldn't you know it these shorts before I started working out they were pretty tight in the butt Look at them now, sagging. I actually used to wear them like this. And look how big they are on me now. So, I mean, look at this. Like, these used to fit tight right here. So, they're high-waisted, so they're actually supposed to be, like, up here. So that's how big they are. Already, one week. I lost 16 inches, but the weird thing is, I only lost a pound and a half. But, yeah. Whole wheat wrap. Um, one serving size of barbecue chicken patty. Which is from Morningstar, and they're, it's fake chicken um, for vegetarians. And uh, just a bunch of fresh, fresh vegetables and Newman's Own light balsamic vinaigrette. So for dinner, I made a fruit and nut salad, and I may have gone a little overboard on the nuts because each serving size is a quarter of a cup, and I usually don't even put this much on, but I have about 500 calories left for the day, 400, 500. Um, so I put an apple, banana, cut up some strawberries, a kiwi, blueberries, and raspberries, and then... Um, dry roasted, unsalted, not cooked in any kind of oil or anything like that, peanuts and cashews. Um, and this is what I'm having for dinner.